Hello viewers, I'm SB, and welcome back to the Spider of Lanka, where today we fall right into its web. Alright, let's start figuring this out. So I was thinking about this <laughs> a little bit uh, last episode, uh, partially in, in anticipation of getting yelled at for it, because uh, I know some of you out there are thinking, Hey SB, if your memory is so legendarily bad, and let's be honest, we all know it is, uh, Maybe, wouldn't it be a good idea to have a different strategy than gather all of the information before trying to make any sense of it when doing so causes you to forget where you saw things immediately? And the answer to that question is, I don't, I already don't remember what it was, but probably you're making a, a fair point. Anyway. Haha, -ha, you thought you could fool me, spider. I have captured you and now you will answer for the death of the princess. So we have a pretty complex diagram here. Jemadar Elara Sun and Mavildar Lanja Sinha will hide in the boats and guard the second entrance to the Titania printing house. A uh, bunch of people at the front door, including, uh, you know, our, our friend, the, the Raja. I will approach the front door with Jemadar Elara Sinha and Havildar Kirthi Bandara. Jemadar and Havildar, or that might be an M, Mavildar, um, are probably ranks rather than, uh, maybe it's just a really common first name, but it's probably ranks. Uh, Master Putrasan, I have already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. Uh, he is one of the shareholders of the Titania Printing House, but my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. However, he goes by the name of Spider, and I plan to meet him at the Printing House on November 22nd. Let me settle my private matter with him first, and then he is all yours. Oh, that's right. This is the spy master, not the not the Raja. Okay, Master Putrasan. There are all five shareholders of the Titania Printing House. All of them are affiliated with the Seven Seas Company. Have a good hunt. I hope you will arrest the bastard. Master of Archive and Library, Siva Udawate. Maybe. I'm really, I'm doing a lot of guessing here as to how these names are pronounced. So we know all about uh, Mr. Albert Cloudsley, sent by the Seven Seas uh, Company head office to help establish new trading posts in Lanka. Dangerous, very arrogant, kind of runs in the family. Cannot be bothered to learn the basics of common Lemurian to improve his situation here. Narcissus Montalban. You should not name your child Narcissus. That's, that's setting them up for some poetic bullshit. Uh, in his own words, married to alchemy. So, hold on. Is this... Yeah, they're using a measurement of height called half. I don't, I don't know what these units of measure are. Natural philosopher, alchemist, and astrologer banned from the Society of Hermetic Thought for revealing their secrets. Uh, claims to be able to switch someone's life off. Several philosophers who had conflicts with him died from unexplained causes, which, you know, maybe lends some credence. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Claude Davreau, an Aquitanian Marquis, despite his stature, he is a master swordsman, has killed at least seven people in duels and subsequently banished from Aquitania, wears expensive clothing, afraid of heights, may attack without provocation, extremely dangerous. Widower, late wives, okay. Ah, uh, you are Oberon Geller, we know you. Unmarried, but has concealed for the last five years that he has a Lankan mistress, that's interesting. A surgeon hypnotherapist, probably an agent of the Seven Seas Company, has connections to the underworld and is well respected among pirates for providing medical services to their people. Curious about, about Lankan and Lemurian culture, a charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation. Merely somewhat dangerous. We know he keeps a pretty cool head in a messy situation, though. And then, you know, Reuben Hendricks. A shipwright and former carpenter on the pirate ship Rabid Raccoon. Has a wooden leg, pretends to be drunk and quiet when it benefits him. Steals, has instigated riots, made a fortune in Pajak, which makes me wonder if he hides cards in his wooden leg merely somewhat dangerous. So the inventory of the first person we clicked on had 30 of the 40 words for this puzzle. 
Ha! You thought the disguise would have saved you. No luck for you, spider. So a curved sword with a, with a clean blade. It is, it is noted that the blade is clean. Tonight during the operation, we will practice an old Lonkin code. Imagine what number the picture represents. In the sentence, count to the word matching that number. Huh. Okay. Red circle, follow orders, five axes, trust no one except me. In the se Imagine what number the picture represents in the sentence, count to the word matching that order. So, follow me. Actually, I, this is a zero. I like zero index that sentence without thinking about it because it's a programmer, but... Um, that might be how it works, I guess. Except that if we're zero indexing the words, this sentence doesn't have a word number five because word number five would be the sixth word. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's grab some more data here. Uh, so this is the spider, or at least we all believe this is the spider. Simply clicking on the spider has created the word mask in our inventory, which is pretty weird. Uh, something at gunpoint, insolence, blasphemy can't speak very well on account of the mask the mask is muffling his voice it's super weird that clicking on the spider gives you the word mask instead of having the word mask in this guy's dialogue have an underline he just has a club he appears not to be armed master we just searched him uh that's true he does appear not to be armed feels like a setup to me right oh okay so we can see from way above here the height of the water currently. Some footprints leading out of the red dye tub down to the waterfront. Basket, maximum load, four vases. Okay, we're gonna have to... I figured they were introducing these units of measure so we'd have to figure out what they, what they are. So 30, sir. Here is that cloak, a very particular cloak. Also... That's something. And a scooter. It's a Razor scooter for some reason. So this is the scene we were just at. And some guards here at the bridge. Very curious. Do all of these? No, they do not all lead up to that view. Uh, so this fella's having a tough time. Also, not breathing. Just in case you're unclear what's going on with that. Uh, tonight during the Lunken operation, we'll practice an old Lunken code. So, true guard must always be ready to learn. Guard never curses in front of the commoners. So, okay. So, this was not supposed to read as a zero. It was supposed to be a coin of which there was one. So, it was first word, fifth word. Uh, so, this is guard front door. Yeah. I think it's more effective. The code is more effective if you don't write how the code works on the piece of paper that you've written your code on. But what do I know? So, yep, the Titania Printing House. I mean, we sure are familiar with that. And inside the building, educational pictures for Little Putra by Spider. Uh, okay. So, here's all the suits from the card game, Pajak. Then the spider manipulates somebody, puppets... Up it's somebody, something is happening. The story, I'm sure, is meaningful. Okay, so this is just establishing, like, what time it is, roughly. Or, you know, helping us establish via the, uh, the, the water height indicator. Okay, they are indeed ranks. What have we here? Ah, these old Lemurians are impenetrable. My spies report that a young Lemurian, Zubiri Kara, has arrived in the city. He is the son of the Lemurian priest Yupik Kara. He probably does not know much about their old culture, but apparently has amazing Pajak skills. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. More and more evidence has led me to believe that the Lankin legend about the Fountain of Youth on a secret island and the rumors about the forbidden golden idol refer to the same thing. Lemurians are extremely skeptical about their technological past. 
The topic is completely taboo in their society, which could be related to the downfall of their empire. They are reluctant to reveal the locations of their ancient technologies, but maybe in the future I can acquire some leverage. They have forced my hand with their conservative stubbornness. I will not let these old mystics sabotage this, uh, the Seven Seas company needs. It is time to invest in some creative research and see if I can find more about their secretive rituals and what makes them tick. What a peculiar principle, life for life. If you do something good or bad to a Lemurian, he is obliged to return the same amount back. Is it really that black and white, or is there some diplomatic leeway? I'll tell you what, people from like colonial societies would be outraged by the concept that you should be that they could should be treated how they treat other people instead of being treated in a way that is according to their station and immutable based on their conduct. November 22nd, Friday, 8 a.m., meeting with the nephew of the bookworm, pick up pistol. Do we know whose notes these all are? I am ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. Common guards, cuts, and master strikes with the long swords. These are, these are titles that prints are being commissioned of, but also probably Lemurian code, right? Guards will attack after Lemurian leaves. One assumes. And a key with a triangle on it. Meeting with the money bag, meeting with the old butterfly, meeting with the green boy, meeting with the double widower. So we know this is, this is referring to one of the... Um, backers of the printing house which suggests that these probably are as well okay that just goes up yeah okay i think at this point we've seen everything so there's a lot to figure out here uh, they do not want us to fill in any of the easy identities, any of the ones we already have. Okay, we got a... We got a lot to sort. So we need to tell the story told in each panel of the little comic. We need to figure in who represents these characters in the little comic. Who is currently inside the mask... And who is the guard that was killed? Okay. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to figure out. Um, so I think the first, I'm trying to figure out like where I even want to start. So you guys, I will approach the front door with these people. Y'all will hide the boats and guard the second entrance. In theory, you know, the spider tries to leave via the hatch. He gets jumped at the boats. And that seems to more or less be what happened. I guess the thing to do here is to start trying to figure out who these characters are. So the double widower... Again, it might be good for me to just make some physical notes here. So we have a double widower, a green boy, money bag, old butterfly. Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm is also... It's also something interesting. Do we know anybody's, like... Do we know any characters that are the uncle or the nephew of any other characters? I'm not sure that we have any of those kind of relations. Uh, hmm, maybe. 
All right, I was just looking at this to see if I thought the titles meant anything beyond um, beyond these the the code, but I don't think so. So why is this important? Why does it matter that we know? Uh, sorry, we want to go all the way up and here. Yeah, okay, so six and a half high puts us, you know, we can, there, there are a couple of times, right? If at midnight, well, it's not midnight though, it's eight. It's like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. is how this is measured. So if it's, if it's like six and a half, We'd expect it to be, um, what, six hours from eight would be two. So we expect it to be like a little after 2 a.m. or p.m. And I mean, probably a.m. because, you know, the lighting and whatnot. Maybe. Yeah, which would put us between the meeting with the old butterfly and the meeting with the green boy. Interesting. All right, let's um, let's see if we can figure out who we think is who from these descriptions. So the double widower uh, is definitely Claude Devereux. Money bag. I mean, this guy has access to a lot of money, certainly. The thing I'm wondering is how you would attach the idea of an old butterfly to any of these people. I mean, Albert could totally be the green boy. But who is Old Butterfly and who is Moneybag? And especially who is Moneybag if not Albert? Hmm. Maybe the nicknames don't all refer to backers. We definitely know who the Double Widower is. I plan to meet him on November 22nd. Let me settle my private matter with him first, and then he is all yours. So the front door, the person at the front door is either Alara Sinha or Kirti Bandara. And we can figure that out based on clothing. So you're wearing that like pretty simple hat. What color was it? It's interesting. This has a sort of an olive color, but this has it more, a much darker. I think he's supposed to be a Havildar of the palace guard. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly no plume or anything around here. So if he's the Havildar, then that makes him Kirti Bandara. That's simple enough to put a thing on here. That's probably right. All right. The spider has created a situation. Coming at this chronologically, and again, using sort of the grammar uh, as, a, as a guide. The spider created a situation where he verbs someone's noun. Uh, well, it certainly can't be ambush or switch as the verb. He did something to someone's noun. Revealed, instigated, 
instigated is probably not it. If you look at the set of nouns we have here, I guess it's technically possible you could say instigated someone's rebirth or ritual, but I think it's pretty unlikely. So... He could have revealed someone's sabotage, since we know that there was sabotage and it seems to have been revealed. Uh, therefore, someone else revealed the secret of something to... Yeah. So if the magic if the magic hat and wand is the golden idol, which would be my first guess, is a thing that does magic, right? This revealed the secret of the golden idol to someone. I don't know that it makes any sense for this to be any other string of two two of our uh, non-proper nouns, right? So he revealed the secret of the golden idol to the to the spider, I guess. The the one who's talking is the butterfly. Yeah. So so, I mean, we could, we could guess that these two are the, the Karas, just from the fact that they have been, uh, you know, marked as the same species. The Lemurians were definitely the ones who had the Golden Idol. I feel like this is actually pretty easy. No, not quite. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Well, then maybe the hat is not the golden idol because I do feel like this part's got to be right, right? What else would it be? What else would they be revealing the secret of? We saw a note that talked about the Karas a little bit. Was it in this book? Yeah, Lemurians are extremely skeptical about their technological past, reluctant to reveal the locations of their ancient technologies. Life for life. Hmm. I feel like this is pretty solid. He revealed somebody's, I mean, the thing is the Pajak, the Pajak illustration here suggest that this is something this is about something that happened at that Pajak tournament but it's just hard for me to imagine hold on a second I want to go back here and get the name of the Raja's kids Anula and Tissa Okay, so those definitely do not appear in this puzzle. Because if this is about the sabotage, it would be Anula or Tissa's sabotage, right? Well, I guess they committed the final act of sabotage, but it could be, um, it could be this refers to Cloudsley. Uh, Cloudsley putting the cricket in the vial in the statue's mouth in the first place, right? Or, or actually, it could be about um, the the Kara family's sabotage, the intended sabotage, the one that didn't work out, of cheating the ritual of rebirth.
The spider created a situation where he something someone something. It really feels like this is going to be about sabotage, so why is the Pajak background on it? There's something I'm not... I'm not right about something here. We still have no idea who the spider is or the person in the mask. They're not the same, one assumes. The... The spider gets away using Yupikera's cloak. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why the cloak is, is off somewhere and discarded. So this is whoever the spider was meeting with. The old butterfly. That makes sense, actually. He was meeting with um, Yupik. He stole Yupik's cloak at that meeting, and then, yeah, Yupik Kara is now concealed in here. Uh, we still don't know who the spider is, though. I'm trying to think about this in terms of the way this connects back to the story of the first game, because, like, clearly what's going on here is this is going to be how Oberon Geller and Albert Cloudsley came into possession of the idol, which really makes me think that this is going to be Oberon Geller then. Like, this almost has to be either Oberon or Albert, because how else does this information, how else does this situation end up back at this situation. Well, let me let me let me go look at something. The very very first thing we saw. This is Oberon Geller and Albert Cloudsley. Yeah. After they've gotten the thing. So Yeah, cuz here's the here's the golden idol. The golden idol's in one of their packs. So in order for this story to end with them knowing where the idol is, it sure seems like... Yeah, it sure seems like this has to be Albert Cloudsley or Oberon Geller. Ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. So Friday is the 22nd. And that's written in Lemurian. Who had a debt to whom? Oh, uh, Zubiri had a debt to Oberon for saving his life, right? Are you Oberon Geller? Okay. All right, we've 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 figured out some of this here. <laughs> so this this is not the Golden Idol, because these these definitely are the two Keras. Revealed the secret of the something. Uh, sorry, this is Zubiri Kara, probably, except maybe not. Revealed the secret of the golden idol to the spider. What would be the information? So it's, so it's, the spider created a situation where he revealed somebody's 
sabotage, which requires Zubiri to pay off his debt to Oberon. Oberon maybe wants to keep Albert alive? Right, because it's... It could be the case that what happened here is... Acting on behalf of the Seven Seas Company, Oberon Geller called in his debt to keep his his associate, Albert Cloudsley, alive to keep the sabotage from leaking. See, what I really want here is something like uh, Discovered. The spider created a situation, but if the spider's Oberon... Yeah, this doesn't... This doesn't really add up then. The spider created... Oberon Geller created the situation. What is he doing with somebody's noun? And the bottom part of this is Zubiri Kara revealing whatever it is that the hat represents to the spider. But it's not the golden idol. It's... Something about... It's a location... It's a place to go to find the idol. Yeah, so this is the life for life thing happening. The... I mean, it could be like... It could be like the idol location. Yeah, that feels... That feels very, um, very quibbly. If, if idle location works, then golden idol should also work, right? So yeah, it's definitely something else here. I mean, he specifically, he wanted to know a bunch of stuff about the rituals. Ugh, I don't want to just be guessing. But yeah, this is like... If I can find out more about their secretive rituals and what makes them tick. So it's ritual information is what he was after. There's no way really to say that. We can say ritual location. Which feels like... It feels like guesswork. So 8 p.m. rehearse the escape plan. 10 p.m. meeting with the money bag. 1 a.m. meeting with old butterfly, which is where he steals the cloak and makes makes Yupik appear in his place. He throws Yupik out to uh, to distract these guys while he gets away. We understand more or less what happened here. We need to piece together this whole story. To help the Seven Seas Company, the spider verbed the noun of the noun noun at the Raja's court. Okay, so maybe this is to, to be understood to, to have happened prior to the ritual of rebirth. Because this could be like rebirth ritual, right? Subiri Kara revealed the secret of the rebirth ritual. Does the the hat appears in the illustration twice, right? Yeah, this must be the rebirth ritual. A spider manipulates the result of the rebirth ritual, resulting in yeah, the girl. Okay. What is this then? So the spider created a situation where he saved Zubiri Kara's life. That's what happened. He created that he created that that fight in the Pajak parlor on purpose. Yeah. So this is the secret of the rebirth ritual. The problem I was having was I was thinking of the whole scroll of images as being um as being like authored after all of the previous events and so being able to refer to the previous events um, as a whole. But this is 
this is the story as it has been happening, not not somebody, um, not the events afterward. Okay, so to help the Seven Seas Company, the spider uh, rigged instigate switch ambush. I did something, the something of the rebirth ritual at the Rava's court, Raja's court. But somebody settled it when he revealed. Oh, so maybe this is where the secret of the the golden because this could be Yupik revealing the secret of the golden idol to the Raja, maybe. Because the Raja was was thanking Yupik for having told him something that we must assume is of some like pretty serious value, right? Yeah, for sharing the secret was join me on the journey as insurance. He revealed the location of something. You wanted life for life. Has this information satisfied your needs? Yeah. So he revealed the location of the of the idol. And he would have perhaps revealed it as the the fountain of youth or whatever he's doing life for life, right? But we are to consider the golden idol and the fountain of youth or the fountain of resurrection or something like that, whatever, to be the same thing per the note on the desk. So the spider revealed the secret of the rebirth ritual. No, we don't have that. The spider instigated the sabotage of the reverse of the um, rebirth ritual. Yeah. Okay. So the golden idol, the, the location of the golden idol is told to the Raja at this point. Because the spider had verbed somebody's noun, somebody verbed the noun of the noun noun to him at Titania Press. You pick Kara, gave him a gift. So this is you pick Kara. Is this because the spider had saved Zubiri Kara's life again? I guess this does. This is the life for life exchange, right? Yupikara revealed the revealed the location of the golden idol to him as well. However, prior to that, someone had tipped off someone else about the something of the something, about the noun of the noun. This is going to be Ambush, right? Uh, what's his name? Sun had planned to ambush Geller, maybe, after the meeting at Titania Press. But somebody had warned somebody with an encoded message. This is definitely... Um, this is for sure over on Geller right here. So he forced Yupikara to... switch clothing and wear a mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all lining up a little bit here. Yupik Kara was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, Oberon Geller just left through the door and brained Kirti Bandara on the way out. I feel pretty confident about that. So this is what's the what is the spymaster's name again? 
it's something sun we can we can get it very easily by going back to here uh putra putra sun yeah i i knew that but why why remember things when you can just look them up right this is the 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 number one thing they teach you in programming courses okay so putra sun had planned to ambush Oberon Geller, although we don't know for sure that he... Do we know if he knew he was ambushing Oberon Geller? I don't I don't know if we did. Um, but somebody had warned Oberon uh, that'd be that'd be um, the kid, right? Zubiri. No, something here is not right. So this is, this is definitely Putra. He planned to ambush Oberon Geller after meeting at Titania Press. After the meeting. But Subiri Kara had warned him with an encoded message. So he forced Yupa Kara to switch clothing and wear a mask. We know you we know this part's right. So it's it's a single noun I have up here that's wrong. Or you know, it's a, a pair of names. It might even be just one name. Who is it that who is it that gave him the message? This is this is almost certainly what it what it is that's wrong. Master of Library. Who is the master of the who would be in a position to communicate this? Okay, no, this message. This message, which I took as, which I was remembering just now, as, you know, Yupik, uh, or rather, um, the kid whose name I keep forgetting, Zubiri, uh, saying, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay off my debt, is actually, um, this is the message from Yupik. Yeah. So then this message is from somebody else. This is the part that's wrong. Siva Udawate, I guess. So there's there's a character here that we don't know very much about who betrayed the spy master. This character is just like totally on the outside of our understanding of the situation. All right, so because the spider had saved Subiri Kara's life, Yupi Kara revealed to him the location of the golden idol. This is what the note is about. He did that at Titania Press. However, prior to that, somebody had tipped off somebody else about the something of the something. Uh, this is probably Putra. Somebody tipped off Putra, right? Did Putra have a note on him indicating... I've already shared my suspicions about the uh, disaster of the rebirth ritual. He is one of the shareholders of Titania Printing House, but my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. I plan to meet him. Okay, so this this is Yupik, right? This is a note from Yupik. I think. Yupik was trying to fulfill his debt. Had already tipped off Putra's son about the something of the something, the sabotage of the ritual. No, something's wrong here. Had already tipped Putra's son off. I mean, the sabotage of the ritual is right. Is the right answer here, right? The disaster of the rebirth ritual. So what is the what is the bit of this that I have wrong? And it ends up kind of not mattering that um, the location of the golden idol was revealed to the Raja. This like is is a total a total non-element in our story overall because we know that it's um, we know that it is Oberon Geller and uh, and Albert Cloudsley who went to get it. 
So yeah, it's just it's just something here that I have wrong. Because the spider had saved Zubiri Kara's life, Yupi Kara had a had a debt to him and revealed the location of the golden idol. All of this is for sure right. So something here is wrong. And we know that the tip off was Putra's son. So the really the person who the, the tip off was made to Putra's son. So whoever tipped him off I was thinking that the you know my honor will not allow me to tell you who it is was Yupik Kara getting around the life debt thing. Like he owes this guy something so he can't put the finger directly on him. But really it could have been anybody who was meeting with him earlier in the day. Hold on, the note the note's in Lemurian, right? Yeah, the note's in Lemurian. So it can't actually be that many people. He didn't actually meet with the green boy. So it's got to be money bag or double widower. Was the, double widower. So we don't actually know what his deal is as far as learning Lemurian. We know Albert definitely doesn't know any. So it for sure wasn't Albert. Albert couldn't have written the note. It could have been any of the others, though. One would assume it wasn't Oberon. <laughs> but it could reasonably have been Reuben or, um, or Narcissus, actually. So this is where the height and weight thing is potentially going to come into play. Three and three fourths half 80, sir. You are shorter and lighter at 70, sir. Okay. What am I supposed to be getting out of this? So what, Oberon escaping, this is Oberon's cloak, then Oberon climbed up this tower, swung down here, like this is all Oberon stuff. None of this stuff actually matters. Yeah, gosh, that's strange. It does seem like none of this stuff actually matters as we have things right now, which is a little weird. Basket maximum load, four vases. So a vase is 30, sir. So the basket couldn't have contained more than 120. Uh, so Oberon Geller weighs 95. I Are we supposed to be reading that whoever it was ran off with him? And so it's, we know it's not Narcissus because Narcissus wouldn't be able to use that, uh, that method of escape. No, sorry. Whoever it was wouldn't have run off with Oberon. They're trying to get Oberon killed. What am I talking about? Um, I think probably the, the the Sir and all that stuff is supposed to help you figure out that it's Oberon Geller, but we got there a different way. So... Double Widower and Moneybag. I don't feel like I can say with any confidence who Moneybag is. 
but it absolutely could be Claude Devereux. This, is a, this would be a guess. I went up. I wanna, I wanna know. I wanna feel like I know. Meeting with the money bag. Yeah, none of this contains any information about who you'd be meeting with. I don't know. I like maybe. Maybe it is Claude, just because Claude's the only person who we can cleanly identify. I'll say this. If the money bag is intended to be Albert, because Albert is the one who is, you know, in control of the finances here, the fact that he can't be bothered to burn Lemur uh, to learn Lemurian would mean that he can't be the one who wrote this note, and so that would eliminate suspects to make Claude the only one who is still available, right? We know Moneybag is not Oberon. Because Oberon's the spider. I really don't feel like we can say with any confidence that it's not Reuben or Narcissus, can we? I don't know. The way I read this, it seems like it would be uh, it would be Oberon, which means I'm just going to go ahead and put Claude's name in here. I think this is right. Okay. Not only is this not right, it's not right by more than two spaces. So I'm like way off here. So what what is it that I'm not right about? Because the Yupikera is giving the spider the gift of this information. Like, this part has to be right. Right? What else could you pick Kara be doing? Revealed the... He's giving him a gift. It has nothing to do with the rebirth ritual. It wouldn't make sense for it to do any have anything to do with the rebirth ritual because that happened already. That's over. All right. What if the note is supposed to have been written by... Well, I was going to say, what if the note is supposed to have been written by a Lemurian? Um, but who would it be? It would have to be a Lemurian who is referred to as, as money bags, right? The money bag, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what like so a good way to a good way to sort of work this out probably is to look for the pieces of information we haven't had to use yet. We've looked at all those all those guys on the scrolls plenty. My honor does not allow me to reveal his name. Who would say that? Who has a particularly I don't even know, who, like, of whom would this be true? Why would someone's honor prevent them from revealing the name of a person? I kind of can't make sense of that. That doesn't seem like a real thing. I plan to meet him at the printing house on the 22nd.
So yeah, it's either the double widower or the money bag. Or I suppose the nephew of the bookworm. I think it's got, I think this half of it has to be right and it's this part that I'm just like fully screwing up. Prior to that, someone had tipped off someone about the noun of the noun. Like a thing that would make a lot of sense here is like the location of the meeting, but while we do have the word location, we don't have a word that would refer to the two of them, the two of them meeting, right? One of the shareholders of the Titania Printing House, my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. Are any of you marked as honorable? You're like a total, a very dishonorable person. A charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation. Hmm. So Ruben knows what happened at the Pajak house, right? He was pretending to be drunk. Does that make sense? Does that tie into this? Like... I don't think it... It feels like it's a piece of information that has to be here for a reason. But... Maybe it's just a red herring. Maybe it's just, you know, a... Um, a faint because what would be so if this was Reuben Reuben Hendricks had tipped off Putrasan about the something of the something what would be different about this because remember, it's it's not just two things that are wrong. We'll change this, this name out, and we'll still have to change something else out. Yeah, and that's not even right. Hmm. What if the gift here doesn't actually refer to the location of the golden idol? What if this is something else? Because the spider had saved Zubiri Kara's life, you pick Kara revealed, saved, instigated, switch, ambush. I mean, it's a, it's a past tense verb for sure. So the options are revealed, saved, instigated, yeah, or concealed. Well, because the spider had concealed Yupik Kara's sabotage? The spider's the one who instigated the sabotage. But, like, the Karas were a part of it because it's their house servant who was in the thing, right? So maybe because the spider... So maybe this is a payment of a different debt. These aren't both payments because uh, for Zubiri Kara's life. Maybe. Okay. Oops. Sorry. That's supposed to also say you pick. 
Because the spider had concealed Yupik Kara's sabotage, Yupik Kara revealed the thing. <sighs> Things we don't exactly we don't exactly know why Yupik Kara is meeting him here. And in the grand scheme of things, especially insofar as, um, like, figuring out what happened to, say, affect an arrest, or, or, you know, at least make sure the blame gets placed properly, this doesn't matter. The fact that we don't know this is kind of irrelevant, um, in a, uh, in a sort of a police kind of way. But as far as getting the whole story goes, I am missing a critical piece of information here, and it's kind of grinding at my, my, uh my will here. I'm I'm pretty annoyed, actually. What is it that I'm not... It's definitely... It's definitely you, you pick Kara giving him something. The only word that can exist... Yeah, it's gotta be revealed. Revealed the blank of the blank blank to him at Titania Press. The valuable information Yupikara has is the location of the Golden Idol, and a thing we know that Oberon Geller learns here is the location of the Golden Idol. So this part's gotta be right. But maybe... Maybe this, this very top two lines could be different. Because the spider had done something for you pick Kara. but it feels like it's a life for a life thing right this is this is we know the price of this information so the it being payback for it being payback for him saving Zubiri kind of makes sense except for the fact that like I guess where where it's, where this is breaking down is I don't know if both Zubiri and Yupik would feel that they owe a debt to um, Oberon for saving Zubiri, or if Yupik would consider that to be covered once Zubiri has paid, effectively, one life for one life. If that's the case, then yeah, this has to be about something else. And it's not because the spider helped out with the sabotage. It's not because the spider concealed the sabotage. What did you do that made you pick Kara owe you? And then this part, yeah, I still don't really feel super confident. I feel, it feels like Claude to me. Just because that's like the one clue that we have. His the fact that he's a double widower is is otherwise not useful. And it totally might not be. It totally could be a red herring. So sorry if this is frustrating to people who have already understood it. What else did he do? He saves Zubiri Kara's life, but perhaps they feel they are even for this already. He set up the sabotage. Verbed someone's noun. And the number of verbs is really, really small. It basically has to be... It feels like it has to be... One of the things we've already tried, honestly. That's what it feels like to me. Oh, this is so frustrating. We are so close. And I just cannot figure this out. All of the nouns have been used already. So we know this is a noun that that is that is already somewhere else. I 
I mean, the spider, the spider did keep, keep the information about the Karas being involved in the sabotage attempt secret, right? So, I mean, it is, it is objectively the case that the spider, I'm not to blame for my father's deceptions. Okay, so everybody feels that this was this was a thing Yupik did. But we can't say the the spider didn't save Yupik's life. Yupik saved Yupik's life. So So this is covered, this is covered, but another debt is owed. This is when I, I don't understand where the third debt comes from. Yeah, this is the thing I'm missing. I don't know it just it kind of doesn't seem like there's anything about it here so yeah this is you pick giving a gift to the spider the guards trying the ambush educational pictures for little putra by a spider is very funny now that we understand you know the whole the whole situation this is a pretty sick burn Yeah, the only thing that's not clear to me is what the debt is for, and I think that's... I think that's the problem we need to resolve here. Well, the spider... I guess... Okay. A thing that's not mentioned here is Albert Cloudsley's part in the sabotage, right? So this message is from uh, this message is from Oberon. So he, a thing that Oberon did that hasn't been mentioned yet and hasn't been paid off is he concealed Albert's part in the sabotage. But that's not a good reason for Yupik to feel he owes anything to Oberon. Right? It, it would not seem like that is the thing here. I wouldn't have thought so. Yupikara's life was saved, but not by the spider. I'm trying to think of like what else happened that fits the um fits the pattern and the words we're allowed to use. Because the spider had instigated... I mean, the spider instigated the sabotage of the rebirth ritual to help the Seven Seas Company not... 
yeah, it's uh, that's not really a thing that, that was done for the Karas. So I can't imagine you pick Kara feeling like he owed him for that. Yeah, I don't really... Hmm. The thing is, this would be a really awkward place to stop an episode, right? To, <laughs> to call it and then, like, have the next episode be 40 seconds of, Hey, I figured it out. Look, this is what it was. And this can't refer to anything about the ritual. Because we don't have any of the names... To refer, we don't have any of the names of the people who were involved in the ritual. Critically, we don't have the Raja's name, so this can't have anything to do with uh, with what the with the Raja or any of the kids or any of the power structure stuff. The spider did something else that you picked care of. Feel he owed a debt over. Kara revealed the location of the golden idol to him. Um, revealed has to be right. The gift is knowledge. Revealed has to be right just based on the grammar. Right, revealed the blank of the blank blank to him. You certainly can't say have saved something to someone or instigated it to someone or concealed it to them. So this part's definitely right. These two words are definitely right. That's what's being depicted here. So he maybe put the mask on at gunpoint, something, something. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. Here's a weird thing. Here's the thing that we were not allowed to. Um, a, a thing that we hadn't used yet. Why? Why do we get a close up on this? That's not even. It's barely a different size than the default display. Scooters are such a goofy touch. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of this is, which makes me, I guess, wonder a little bit if there's something I'm missing here. But as far as unused information from there, I don't really feel like we have all that. I don't feel like we have any. Oberon escaped alone, we can reasonably conclude from the way this worked out. There's only one set of footprints. Unless it, he did have a co-conspirator and one of them was carrying the other, like in that poem. This bit just tells us about the cloak, about how Oberon got away. This part just clarifies that it's definitely... Um, it's definitely not Narcissus who got away. It, it, it is Oberon, but that's not really useful, but I do think that's all information we're intended to look at. None of these guys really have anything on them. Yeah, no, none of them have anything interesting to say.
it is so frustrating to have like part two and four of the thing filled in and not be able to understand part three. Because the spider had, I don't know, like done a thing or whatever. That's all we need. <laughs> all we need is done a thing or whatever. Okay, what if the spider revealed something? What would it be? The spider revealed... Okay, maybe it was an information exchange. What would the spider have revealed to you, Picara, that would have been worthwhile? He could have revealed the sabotage... I mean, the thing is, why does Yupikara feel he owes the spider if the spider's sabotage maneuver nearly got him killed? Because the spider had... No, I can't. I was trying to figure out, like... There's simply... There's no piece of information. Yeah, I, information exchange is definitely not what happened. There's no piece of information represented here. The A big part of the problem that, we're, that I'm having is we have such a goofy collection of nouns that there's actually not... There's not very much going on here that couldn't be or that there's not very many words that could be here no matter what I guess okay hold on who was it that figured out the secret and left a note okay leave it in the bush by the pyre so it was, it was the warrior who wrote this down. But he says, did not get precise answers. So we don't know who he was talking about. What if it's the spider revealed something about the ritual? Would the spider have known things about the ritual? But see, this here would be, it would be the name of one of the members of the Raja's family. <sighs> yeah. And the reason that Yupik didn't end up, you, neither Yupik nor Sabiri ended up getting killed was entirely due to Yupik's actions. So... Yeah, His Highness will demand your, will demand your life. So... So dad pays him off in the only way that he can, the only currency that he has. That's certainly not going to endear the Karas to him. I don't know. It's really frustrating. Um... I'll tell you what, the figuring, finishing this off definitely shouldn't be a whole, um, a whole episode unto itself, but I may have to pause this one, go away, make some food, just like have a, just have a think on it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'll pause the record. I'll be right back. Oh, it's frustrating. I feel like we're so close. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go make some food. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I was watching back what I had been doing with this particular um, image while I was eating, and I realized that in this configuration, it says two or fewer slots are incorrect, and I just completely did not notice this uh, when when I had it filled in like this the first time. So if you you were wondering why I was wandering so far afield from this, that's why. I totally just, I was so focused on the words, I just missed that we were really close. And what broke it, what broke it away from being two or fewer slots are incorrect was changing Yupik Kara's name. Which means this is definitely right. And gosh, okay, so what else so what else here is wrong then? This this top part has to refer to this event because we can only change at most two words. The spider definitely never instigated or revealed or concealed anything about Zubiri Kara. Yupikara revealed the location of the golden idol. I mean, it could be... Yupikara had tipped Petra's son off about the sabotage of the ritual. Yeah, I've already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. So... And he revealed the time and place of the meeting but we don't have a word for that yeah it could it could be like had tipped off Putra Sud about the location of the mask, door, hatch. Actually, hold on. How is the how is the note with the hatch part on it written? Well, this is written from the perspective of this is Putra Sun writing in first person. So he knew about the hatch. Maybe. Meet him at the printing house on November 22nd. So if, if you pick revealed to Putrasan the location of the hatch, it's something that we don't, we don't know happened. At this point though, I'm like a little, a little desperate. Okay. No, remarkably that was not it. The location of the sabotage. I mean, kind of, right? <laughs> he had tipped him off about the sabotage of the ritual. Well, okay, but it is definitely these two words that are wrong. Because otherwise, moving them would have changed this. So... He tipped Yupik off. Or he tipped Putra off about the location of the... The, he, he tipped him off about the date and time, place of a thing, but we can't refer to the time, so it is the location. The location of the life, the location of the... I guess the location of the spider is technically true. I would argue that that's less, like... I mean, I, he did, he said, you know, he's one of the guys at the printing house. I, like, mm, okay, that's kind of frustrating because... The thing I had in there, he had, Yupik had already tipped him off about the fact that there had been sabotage, is the only reason that that other tip off is meaningful. And it's the thing that we do know happened, and it's the thing that we are explicitly told happened on the same piece of paper. Like, I'm not trying to be a poor sport about anything here, but like, I feel like that answer is better than this one. It's certainly at least as correct. The Lemurian priest had hoped to fulfill his honor-bound duty by revealing the location of the golden idol to Oberon Geller before allowing Putra's son to ambush and arrest him. Yeah, sort of fulfilling the, uh, the caring for his honor in spirit, or by the letter, not by the spirit. Uh, but Oberon had been forewarned, so he forced Yupik to exchange clothing. 
made him wear the mask. While Pucha's people were distracted by the masked Yupik, uh, Oberon, disguised as the priest, killed the guard and escaped with the map. Yeah, so basically, I had that like 40 minutes into the episode and then just pointing to the wrong thing that was revealed and and you know in the game's defense fully on my, fully on me not noticing that we were only off by two or fewer um, words there but okay so we did it we, we figured that out listen Albert okay yep and this is them going to get the uh, going to get the idol I hold a proposition of business. And you know how doing business with a Cloudsley works out. All right. Well, that's it. That's the Spider of Lanka. I had a really good time with that. I think that was very cool overall, except that I do think... What is this? Okay, that just shows us this image again. Um, I do think it's kind of whack that thing that happened at the end there, because I think my answer is at least as valid as the answer that they are looking for. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I do think that overall, this was still extremely fun, and I really, really, really hope they do more. And this had like a mini dose of part of what I found so compelling about the, the main campaign, which is having to integrate the information from... Uh, from the previous subchapters to really understand what's going on and to be able to answer the final few questions. Um, I think that rules. It's a really, really good formula, and I hope they iterate on it a bunch more times. Anyway, that's going to be it for us for this series. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, next week, there's going to be something brand new in this slot. I'm pretty excited about what I'm 60 to 70% sure it's going to be. So come back to check it out, and we'll see you then.